So the first thing that we probably want to see in um, good evidence is that the trainee shows progress. So this is a formative um, process and we want to see the trainee um, getting better over time. Once they, when they first begin their training process, we would probably expect their assessments to be um, about level one or two, where they know or they know how to do things. And this is particularly important in the rotation element. But as the trainee becomes more experienced, they're going to become proficient and competent at what they're doing. And when they get to the specialisms, we'd expect to be seeing lots of level threes and level fours in their, in their competencies. Um, the second thing we'd probably um, want to see from it is critical reflection. It's not just about what happened, it's also about what you learned from what happened. So um, anything that's put in as, in as evidence should be reflected on and the trainee should understand better what to do next time. It's also important um, to include an element of patient interaction if possible. So in any observed clinical events, for example, where there's a patient there, Try asking the patient um, how they felt about it and see if that can be used to reflect upon to improve performance for next time. Um, and the third thing we'd probably want would be a link to policies and frameworks. So um, good evidence um, should show that in clinical practice you're using the good frameworks, the standard operating procedures, the evidence of best practice um, to make sure that you're working at the best level you can. Like I said, we have a training plan um, that we both work together, but it's really important that trainees and training officers like myself really understand the curricula. Um, so we encourage trainees to look at the curriculum library to understand the learning outcomes as they go. Um, but also for us, we like to work and set goals uh, about how to achieve certain competencies, whether that's basic knowledge or whether it's kind of applied skills and abilities. All the competencies are really different, actually, and sometimes um, you know, a trainee would like to write a bit of text for a competency and that's great, but we, we like trainees to think more creatively about competencies and it can be anything really, um, anything that kind of complements their learning. And it can be anything from podcasts, photographs, observations and interactions with patients. Definitely through planning in advance um, because the m more you know about what's going to come up the sooner that you can plan what things you want to see in your experiences in order to keep that evidence up. Um, a big piece of advice would be you're encouraged to go to a lot of these conferences as well as part of your experience and I really recommend keeping all of the certificates of attendance to these conferences because you can use them as evidence for a lot of your professional practice competencies.